What's up my boss family? Today we're back with another vlog. Today we had a special guest come through to Fear From Today. He's a subscriber. He's a boss family member. He came through today. He brought his girlfriend. They enjoyed the fish. I gave them a tour of the fish room. We hung out. We nerded out. We talked about fish and we just had a really good time and I gifted him a fish today. So I'm going to send you guys to that footage to check a little bit of it out and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys what I got going on down here in the fish room today because I'm stripping some females and I want to show you guys. So stay tuned. Alright y'all, so today we back in the fish room. We got some special guests. What's your name? Steven. Steven. And it's, it's your wife or girlfriend? Girlfriend. Girlfriend, okay. Man, you better put a ring on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so today they uh, came by to check out the fish room and to pick up this blood parrot. That's what you said. You want uh, you, you want anything else out of here? You got a room for the uh, clown night? No, I don't have anything that day. <laughs> I know, right? That's why I'm trying to I need to get this tank. I, I think I'm about putting a big old pond over there. For him because he gonna need some room down here for sure but yeah so they came over today gonna, i'm gonna let him pick up this blood pair and take it home what size tank you got 75. oh 75 oh yeah for sure yeah i was gonna put him in there with the oscars but that oscar over there be beating him up all the time so he can't go in there so yeah now you got you already got the everything you need can you, can you uh, record for me get this boy up out of here a little bit how long you been keeping fish uh, I mean technically since I was a kid but right got back into it just got back into it yeah yeah that's how I've been for me I always get into it then I get out get in but this the last time I was like I'm in it <laughs> you know yeah especially with like with COVID and stuff like that yeah. most people you know got into the fish hobby like that through COVID Oh yeah, yeah. That's for me. I, like I've, I've dealt with depression, anxiety in my life, and then like recently, this past year, my father just passed in February, cancer. Yeah, and um, that's what really made me build this fish room like that. It was just kind of like my uh, way of. Oh my goodness, that thing. He just soaked me. Uh, yeah, that was kind of my way of uh, you know getting over the death, and and me and him we shared the fish the thing together, so kind of our thing, and he the one who kind of. You know, uh, put me into the fish game, so you know, it is what it is. But yeah, it's been pretty cool. Yeah, I finally got to your blood paired in there. What other fish you got up in the tank? Uh, I just got some rainbows right now. Rainbow, some little rainbows. Uh, they're about medium size. Medium size. All right. I'm gonna say he might try to chase them, but you'll yeah, see. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> we'll see how I do. I Cause they, they, they're they're a mighty sickle. I mean, they're sickly, so they they can be aggressive to themselves. You know, but uh, just let me let me know how it works. I got other tanks. Oh yeah, cool, cool. What else you be keeping? Uh, mostly all kinds of community fish. Yeah. Another rainbow tank, uh, light bearer tank, couple smallies. Okay, that's what I want to do. I want to do it too. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out the tanks to do it. Like I got, my mind is always changing. You got a 20 long? Six betas. Six betas. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing too because like, um, I like everything. I like it's monster fish small little nano fish you know i like everything i'm a fish keeper so that's why i want to do a sorority tank i just don't know which tank to do it in <laughs> i got two videos it's worked pretty well especially what you wanted to do and i've liked actually watching them. yeah interesting yeah they're colorful let me step back this way it's more light this way yeah um yeah that's how i am too you don't do like any like african cichlids anything like that uh started with some dwarf cichlids so far dwarf I've got, uh, Living Rams. I just recently got a pistogrammas and yeah, I want I wanted to try the pistogrammas too. I just got them, so they're a pair. Okay. Well, if you breed them out and get some babies, let me know. I will. You know, I'll definitely sure purchase I'll some because I'm to get rid of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so I'm always trying to look for the next thing to breed or something. I'm thinking about how to breed my betas. It's not hard, it's and not you don't need a lot of space to do it either. I've been doing a lot of. Yeah, you can do it in a jar. And I've, I've seen a lot of people like over in Taiwan, that's how they do it. They just put them in little mason jars, ain't they? Like 
things like that are a little totes. Mm -hmm. Put the male and the female in. You yep. can, like, separate the female. Yep. If I just, um, I was just dropped the video today of touring the store, and the guy had a rack thing he's selling that was perfect for like breeding bettas too. Yeah. Perfect for breeding bettas. He said he on he wasn't trying to sell it for that much. Do you watch Aquarium Co-op? Yeah, yeah. He's got a nice YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I've been watching Corey since he started making videos on YouTube. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like I've made videos like I got videos on my channel for like two or three years ago, but I made videos and then I like would get stop making them. But now I was like, I'm just gonna put my passion out there because, like, regardless, I still have fish. Regardless, if it wasn't for YouTube, but you know, I'm like, I'm all just put it out there. Share it, share yeah, it share it with the people because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people into fish and a lot of people jumping into fish every day or, you oh, know. Like a year ago is when I started really watching YouTube. Really. As far as fish, uh -huh. that's when I decided to have get too you some many fish. tanks. Right. Yeah, Same MTS, way. what they call it, multiple tank yeah. syndrome. That's somebody comment on my videos like, yeah, you got MTS. I'm like, I probably do. You know, it's just like I like so much and you can't keep everything with everything. So, no. you know, and then I get lucky, you know, you get lucky, you get hooked up on deals, on tanks. So, you take advantage of it. Yeah, our 75 we got for free. Like yeah. Tank and all, everything in it, fish. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Pleco looking good back there too, man, if you we want it. We have one. <laughs> we had two, actually. That big? Yeah, it was. It was this big when we got rid of it. Now it's probably like. It was one of my first. Uh, it was a 38 gallon tank. Oh, okay. And of course, storage is so many plecos. I right. didn't know about them. Right, right, right. They got huge. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, someone with, what is it, 180 or something took them. So. Mm hmm. That's what's up. I keep normal size plecos in every tank. Yeah, I yeah. Like, I like plecos, but not. Yeah, you got, I got a bunch of bristles. I'll be breeding bristles in here. Just got lemon Yeah, well, we've got a couple regular. Got from Alex. Mm -hmm. just yeah, that's where I, that's where these came from, Alex. Yeah. Too. Well, the guy that works with Alex, that being there working with him, he's the one that breeds them. Um, he got crap ton. Yeah, that's where <laughs> I got them from. Yeah, with those pistos and cribs, I also got three Alex Longfin Lemon Blue Ibiscos. Okay, I think I got one in here too. I haven't got that to breed yet because that's where the money at. Ours are they're real small. So oh, you're still small. Yes. Yeah, uh, right there in front of the. Oh yeah, that's just a regular bristle nose, but there's a long fin blue eye in here somewhere. It's really nice. I got like a regular long fin and I got a long fin blue eye. I had got it from a guy I had when I had bought one of the tanks, he had the he already had them, so I just, you know. What you think of the room after seeing it like on YouTube? So like the how does it look like in person? Oh, it's nice. Yeah. The ceiling's shorter yeah. too. You didn't expect <laughs> the ceiling to be this short because I'm short, so it probably short, don't look like that. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, that was my thing. I'm like, man, you know, when I first made the business, I'm like, man, tall people ain't gonna be able to come down here. Well, I saw that one video, that other guy you had. You yeah, know, he was kind of bent yeah, down. I saw him bent <laughs> I'm like, must be short in there. This is kind of what I want to do eventually when we buy a house. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Right now. Yeah, and this basement was just raggedy, old, disgusting basement. This is what our basement looks like. Uh huh. The floors are not even, so. Yeah, no, this. All of our tanks upstairs are. <laughs> yeah, none of my floors are even down here because you can see right here if you step it's yeah. like a, a dip a, yeah yeah. A dip yeah so it's like i just i don't know i try to level everything like these tanks kind of like sit towards the wall they like lay on the wall pretty much so you know you, they're not going nowhere you know and then some of them i kind of shimmy with some wood and yeah. stuff like that but for the most part i mean you wouldn't you would think this floor is level but it's definitely not <laughs> it's concrete yeah it's concrete you know like it was like nasty that's why you see i put up sheets because like when i first moved down here my, my girl she didn't want my whole thing was i was trying to fix it to where she can come out here and do laundry without her being scared that bugs don't fall on her head <laughs> so that's where the whole sheet idea came from and then it just morphed into this and then you know it's like you know eventually one day i was like i'm gonna finish the basement and do it the right way but right now it works i appreciate you guys coming through checking out the room came all the way from clinton that's dope that's the how you find a channel through one of the Facebook groups or something? Uh, I think it was actually just randomly recommended from some other videos. Right? Oh, that's dope. There, that means YouTube is sharing my videos. Yeah. That's dope. I did see it in one of the yeah groups. Yeah, I try to the share it and then just to get the local people to, to realize you know that I'm here. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I'm right here in the Quad Cities doing this. You know. Yeah, but initially it recommended it and I watched it. And I'm like, that looks familiar. <laughs> and then I saw you go to Alex's store. I'm like. Must be close. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Alice is cool, man. I really, I need, I haven't been out there in a while. Though. I need to go out there. I know I did a tour of his spot. And he had people from all over the world hitting him up, wanting to 
Really? Yeah, okay. buy stuff and have him. So try to support the local businesses and stuff like that. That's what it's about, you know? Just trying to keep the hobby going. Some of y'all favorite fish. You said you like the betters though, huh? <laughs> Most women like the betters. You know? <laughs> That's why I want to do better because I want to get more because like 94% of the people who watch my channel are men. And you know, I got a small percentage of women. Of course, I'm like, I'm going to get some fish that women like. Maybe I can get more, you know, ladies to want to watch the channel, you know. Color. Okay, yeah, I like, and some people don't like it. I like angels. They're my favorite, some of my favorite fish. I like sickles in general, but I just haven't got to the point of. Well, I mean, I have a 75 now. Yeah, I mean you can definitely you can definitely do like a nice school of some different types. I got so many different types. I'm trying to breed them out now. Got all the different species. I'm trying to breed out. Uh, do you know a guy named Mike? Uh, he stays in Davenport. He uh, is a breeder, and uh, he's like go to his house and he has like nothing but some of the best sick. That's where all my sick come from. And he got the best stuff. He'd be on band too. So if you ever get on band and, and join the Quad Cities, uh, you will see him. He's like a local breeder here. He got some of the pristine top of the notch stuff that you can't go into a pet store and get you know that's the type of stuff i like i like yeah. the stuff you can't get or you can't walk in uh, i get a lot of stuff from Ro too because he uh you know they kind of like breed their own stuff so i get a lot of stuff from him or alex you know everybody really alex gets random stuff every now and then. yeah he gets a lot of rare stuff he gets stuff that you see on youtube that you want and you can't find he has it or you know he can order it too like my betas came from him they came from thailand yeah, 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 he do. Get, yeah, okay, so you got him out that one tank. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, those are nice. Those are some nice ones. I'm going to have to go out there and get some. I just like, well, which tank I'm on? I'm a girl. She just bought me a couple more 10 gallons, so maybe I'll throw them in a 10 or something. There you go. <laughs> Lots of plants. Yeah, I'm about to say plant it out because that's why I like doing planted tanks. Like hiding spots. Mm hmm. Yeah. I like the planted tanks, but it's like, it's so hard when you have cichlids to have planted tanks. They just turn right yeah, they just rip it all out, you know. That was so. the other thing I started watching recording co-op, you know, it's back to back. Yeah. Before that, I the only plants I knew were the fake ones from Walmart. So right, right, right. Yeah, I that's why. Of, that's I why I like Crips. Crips is my the, yeah, the yeah. easiest plant, like for me, you know. And like you see hornwort, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that hornwort plant and Crips. Them, them, my, them my go-to plants because I can't kill them. You know, everything else kind of dies on me, you know. But I can't kill anything else. Then the best plan. That's my suggestion. If you like, you want to try some plants, get you some crips. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of crips too. Oh, this is a, this is a really cool tank right here. If you like community, you know, nano type fish. <laughs> this is one of my favorite tanks actually in here. Does them, them grommies? See the colors that's on them? It's ridiculous colors. I got all these fish from Row, and I think I got the. I ordered that. Uh, uh, yeah, I ordered that from Aquarium Co-op. Yep, that's I got one. <laughs> that one's one of my favorite plants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mine's too. Like they, they're easy. They're easy plants. You can see I got these hornwood. It's kind of like dying back. Ain't doing stereo. too good. Wisteria. Wisteria. You cannot get that to stop growing. <laughs> really? It, it's taken yeah. over like at least three. Was y'all floating it or or y'all? Can do either. Yeah. Wisteria is. If it likes your water, it's a weed. So y'all got hard or soft water hard. out there? Hard water. Super. That's probably why it's growing, because I can't get that to grow here. Oh, you guys have soft water? Yeah. I think we got, I think we got soft water. I haven't tested it, but I believe our water is soft, because we don't get a lot of calcium buildup. Oh, yeah, yeah, so I think it's soft water here. It's, it, like on any a strip, it maxes out on the hardness. It's, yeah. It's like a 15 degrees of hardness, and it's like an 8 pH. It's perfect for Africans. Yeah, I was about to say, you can probably breathe some good stuff in it. But yeah, I, I can't. Like, that's probably, I've been noticing that, too. Dang, Pleco, too. That's why I don't like Plecos. That's like within two days he did that. It's ridiculous. I hope you enjoyed that little footage uh, from earlier today. But I had recorded a whole, pretty much a whole video for you guys explaining on how to strip these African cichlid babies. Um, but the footage got messed up. So we're just going to go ahead. I'm just going to show you what I worked on today in the fish room. So this tank here that are housing all these hung guys. I was able to finally get all these fish separated so I took out the ones that are not hung guys and I took them over there to that aquarium where the blue lips are and the female that's in here there's a really big female right there you really can't see her but I stripped her today and 
in this tank right here these two females right here I stripped these two females right here so I'm gonna show you some of their babies so the babies you probably gonna be able to see the hung eye baby because they're in here but I was able to strip the two females that's in the planet aquarium and they had a bunch of babies that are still got their egg yolks so this is pretty awesome I put them guys in here I got them in this tub that has flowing water through it and we're just gonna leave them in here until these guys hatch and once they well they already hatch but once that yolk is gone and they become free swimmers we'll release them into the pond so that way they can swim around and grow up but so I got them over here in this little makeshift, makeshift Tupperware type of situation and it's working it's pretty dope if you ask me and I had about it's tons of babies tons and tons and tons of babies probably about I would say 50 to 60 of them maybe that I got out of there so that was pretty awesome super excited about that um, these fish over here I wanted to strip the babies out of this girl but she ended up dropping them herself so you can see she spit some of her babies out so there's tons of those in there so that's awesome actually I'm gonna ahead and just let these guys do their natural thing and you know as long as the babies not get eaten they got plenty of places to hide in the rock and everything like that so it should be should work just fine and as they get bigger and I can catch them I'll pull them out um, but for right now they'll do just fine in here so that I thought that was pretty cool this tank over here this tank over here I put in this male right here I'm, I'm thinking that's the male because as soon as I put him in here he started going crazy with the other females in here and this one I have for a while now these other ones are new Williams blue lips but I believe this guy I've had him and I didn't even know I had this fish because it was in the, the pond so I didn't you know, really get a chance to look at them and examine the fish like I do now that they in this aquarium um, but as soon as I put him in here he became the dominant male instantly started trying to uh, breed and then I put this darker one in here too, which uh, I believe is the same fish. Uh, we'll know as things go on, because I believe that these fish have like morphed into uh, and and crossed. To be honest, like him, I had for a while, and and the other one I feel like they's crossed because if you look at this tank over here, there's just too many different kinds of fish where well, they look different. Like I have this one right here. Well, you can still see the hung eye in them, but you can see another species in them, same as this one right here. But the rest of these got that hung eye look. You see that beautiful female back there. So I'm excited about these guys. Got them separated finally so we can start breeding them. Got these female strips so they ain't got to be so stressed out. And hopefully uh, I'm going to get them fed up because they're real skinny and finicky. So we got to get them fed up so he can start um, producing with those ladies again. But that's pretty much it as far as what I did in the fish room today. The tank is almost empty. We just got two fish in here now since the blood period is gone. So we only got two fish in here at the moment. And hopefully we can get um, this 100-gallon set up. I'm going to hit my buddy up tonight. I'm going to see what he's trying to do tomorrow. See if he's trying to come get this 100-gallon set up. And we'll see. We'll get that set up. The Rusties are doing good up in there. That's going to be the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Enjoy these styles of videos. If you're new around here, it's your first time seeing my face, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so when I drop my videos, you guys can be the first ones here. And uh, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what's going on in your heads. Give me some thoughts about the videos, about the fish room. I like to read the comments. So leave those comments down below. And I'm going to start doing like a positive comment shout out. So if you leave a positive comment in the comment section, I'll shout you out in another video. So let's get that going. Let's start doing a little trend with that. So if not, I'm gone. I'll catch you guys in my next vlog. I appreciate the continued support. Happy fish keeping.